Hello, everyone. My name is Andre Campbell speaking to you out of South Florida. I want to welcome everyone to this webinar. Those of you who are, are watching, you may be watching the recording or you may be watching right now live from various parts of the world. I'm super, super excited to share this information tonight. And we're also going to have a very special guest speaker, so definitely hang on for that. What I want to do right now, I want to introduce a gentleman I have a ton of respect for. Uh, this gentleman is a pastor. He's a family man. He's also a community leader. And right now, he's responsible for helping people you know, all around the world really learn about what we're doing and bring this information to people, you know, in various parts of the world. So what I want to do right now is introduce Mr. Alan Holt, and he's going to take it away. All right, Andre, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Loud and clear. Wonderful. Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to be with you. I get excited to share this information simply because this information has been changing lives, not only here locally, but in 120 countries around the world, and we're expanding daily. So why is this information necessary? We're dealing with a company called iMarkets Live, which is short for International Markets Live. And one of the things that we do in all of our meetings is we try to prepare your mind and thinking for success as a business owner. The other thing we're trying to achieve is prepare your mind for change. So one of the reasons we do this is that we take the concepts that were presented by Mr. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki himself, who brought to us the revelation about where one set of thoughts can take you down a path to poverty, while another set can take you down a path to riches. This is what he discovers and what he presented in his case. He talked about that there's four ways that people earn money and he put together something called the cash flow quadrant. And typically, if you get six out of 10 people, or 60% of all people, earn their money currently as employees. And as an employee, you're trading time for money. Usually, it's a lot of time for a little money. In that quadrant, you yield over all of the control to your employer. They control how much you earn how many days you can have vacation, what your 401k looks like, when you go to lunch, how do they know you get hungry at 12, what breaks you can have. They control every aspect of your life. But after a while, some people develop the skill sets to say, I need to make a transition. And they pretty much uh, transition into what's called self-employed, where you own the job. The limiting factor here is that if you're not working, you're not earning. That's going to be like your uh, it could be your dentist, it could be an insurance agent, it could be a realtor, uh, it could be someone who does work for themselves, a carpenter, so on and so forth. But again, a limiting factor is if you're not working, you're not earning. Now, on the right side of the quadrant, we have what's called a business owners. And business owners, is about 4% of them, they have a system in place that does most of the heavy lifting for them. System stands for save yourself time, energy, and money where you're able to leverage the efforts of others to generate consistent income for yourself. For example, Jay Paul Getty, who's a billionaire tycoonist, he said this, I'd rather have 1% of 100 people's efforts than 100% of my own. Brilliant statement, but a key to success for those who are really listening. And finally, in the last quadrant, we have what's called the investor, and it's about 1% of all people have learned how to put their money to work for them. So we did a, a total of what's happening on the left side and the right side, we've got 95% of all people on the left side and they're dividing 5% of the wealth. But on the right side, we've got 5% of the people who are sharing and enjoying 95% of the wealth. In every presentation I make, I said, if you had to make a decision about what side you want to spend the rest of your life on, the left side or the right side, what side would you choose? Unanimously, people choose the right side. So let me tell you how we can get you to the right side. We operate in the realm of Forex. And what is Forex? It's simply short for foreign exchange, but it is the largest financial market in the world. Now, up until we got exposed to Forex, most of us only knew or exchanged currency when we traveled internationally. But here's what I've come to learn since being involved with iMarkets Live. I used to think that the largest market in the world was the stock market. And I guarantee you, if you ask that question amongst most people, that's exactly what they'll say. But the stock market equates for about a $22 billion industry, where Forex is a $5.3 trillion per day. It pales, the stock market pales in comparison to the Forex market, but that's the market we're learning to enter in. We're gonna teach you how you can trade one currency pair for, for another using your smartphone, your tablet, your computer, so on and so forth, in a market that's open 24 hours a day, five days a week, and if you throw in cryptocurrency, then it's seven days a week, 24 hours a day. 
What is iMarkets Live? We are Forex education. Okay, we're going to teach you everything you need to know to be successful in Serena. We operate currently in about 120 countries around the world, and we're growing each month. We're debt free and we're privately owned. There's no third party services. Let's talk about leadership. Now, leadership is critical. I've always said that mentorship is your shortcut to success. And that if you get around the right leaders, you're gonna become the next one. Just like we say, and it's been proven, if you've got five millionaire friends, guess who's number six? Conversely, if you've got five broke friends, who's number six? <laughs> so we're gonna put you in an environment where the leaders are the top at the top of the field and they're proven and they have the capacity to actually impart wisdom and success into all of our lives. The gentleman to the left is the CEO, Mr. Chris Terry. He has been trading professionally in excess of 20 years, uh, has incredible wealth and experience and a heart of gold because he decided to take the knowledge that was once hidden from us and make it available through this company, iMarkets Live. The young lady next to him is his beautiful wife, She's the one that introduced him to the realm of Forex, and she historically has been a CFO even for the Federal Bank in New York. The next gentleman is, is Mr. Alex Morton. This guy is executive vice president. He's been featured in Forbes magazine and Rolling Stones as being one of the wealthiest people in the world under the age of 30. And the next gentleman is Mr. Ivan Tapia. He's our VP of sales, and he helps with expanding in global markets, especially when they speak multiple languages. Great leadership. But what makes us unique? Number one, we don't handle or trade your money. We don't handle any of your investments. You're in control at all times. We don't earn a dime from your trades. No commission or performance fees are taken ever. We teach you how to enter and exit trades effectively at your own risk so you're ultimately responsible for your outcomes and results. But we are committed to fulfilling our objective. And here it is simply. We're here to empower, to enrich, and educate. And our goal is millions of customers worldwide beginning with you. OK, that's our goal, to make you feel powered, empowered to go into the market, because it's proven that when you feel powerful, then you, you enter with a confidence and that confidence carries over into your performance. So how do we empower? How do we enrich and how do we educate? We do it through something called IML Academy. This is your complete Forex mastery course. It takes you step by step to help you become a consistent and profitable trader. Now, you didn't have to have any previous experience prior to joining us. But believe me, you're going to get a wealth of experience in the process. We have 60 plus videos. We're adding more regularly. It's presented in multiple languages and it teaches you everything you need to know from basic to advanced while you're learning from expert traders. Now, the next product we have to me is the most powerful product because this product here takes you into the market and how, how, how this is how we do it. We offer what's called live Forex education and mentorship. Remember what I said from the beginning, that mentorship is your shortcut to success. And anytime you're around somebody who's proven, who knows how to get there, it enhances your chance of arriving at the same destination. So the iMarkets Live TV gives you over 120 hours of live Forex and crypto education weekly, presented in multiple languages, many trading sessions. And as an added benefit, these guys record each session so you can go back and learn from the professionals. The next product is what we call the harmonic scanner. Now, the harmonic scanner for us works kind of like a GPS system in your car. Why do you use GPS? It helps take you places you've never been before, or places you're not familiar with. Well, the harmonic scanner scans the market and presents an image along with data that's gonna be critical for your success as a trader. It shows you where to enter, what your stop loss should be, what your target should be. It get, does all the heavy lifting for you. Scanning the market gives you the information so you can have high accuracy confirmations, okay, which is critical if you're going to be a successful trader. Now, the next product is the swing trade. This is where you get to learn and earn with the CEO, Chris Terry himself. How, did we, how does he do it? Well, he records a couple videos weekly as he analyzes the market and gives you ideal kind of information for possible setups. Here he also gives you techniques you're gonna need in order to trade effectively with the pairs that he's recommending. But this is a weekly forecast, and again, when you've got the experts telling you what's happening, it enhances your chances for success. 
The next product that we present is something called Swipe Trades, where it's going to send a signal to your phone, you receive a trade alert, and if you can copy and paste, you can profit. Now, every time I do this, I talk about the mindset where we said the rich dad, poor dad story. The, the poor dad gave the counsel that says, I want you to go to school, get good grades, so you can get a good job with good benefits, right? Well, the rich dad said, I want you to go to school, get good grades, so you can find a company you can own. Total different advice to take you to a total different place. Here's what also I've learned, is that rich people copy success. Where in the poor education, we were told to never copy. In fact, we were penalized for copying. And if you, can, if you maintain that mindset for the rest of your life, I promise you, you're going to continue to struggle because you have to try to create things that you never should have had to already create. There are things already created that if we copy them, we can also enhance our chances of success. Now, what happens here? Because you're getting the signals from the experts, if you can just, with a touch of a button, copy and paste it into your MetaTrader 4, you can actually profit, and that is the goal. No prior experience is necessary, and this is a great strategy to supplement your income. Now, in sum, and to me, this is what gets me excited, and I think those who, who know me uh, understand why this is so important. I'm a natural trainer. I'm committed to helping develop people developing skill sets, mindsets, and performance. And IML is a master training a school. You're gonna get training and support to help you be successful every step of the way. Everything from websites, uh, tools, all the, all the reinforcement, everything you need to be successful is provided for you. And they put icing on the cake, they top it off every Sunday night. We bring something to you that is invaluable in the sense of, you get to be mentored by a seven-figure earner. And I always ask the question, when's the last time you were mentored by a seven-figure earner? And most people say never. Well, guess what? Every Sunday night, IML brings to its base, brings to its members, seven-figure mentorship that keeps you sharp, that gets you thinking like a multimillionaire, that gets you prepared to perform on the highest level. And that, to me, is one of the most important things that we provide. So how do you get started? Let me, let me tell you how do you get started. The way you get started with us is that we present what's called the Platinum Package. It is your complete Forex education. It gives you all the tools and education you need to become profitable. So once again, in summary, you get the IML Academy, the IML TV, the Harmonic Scanner, and the Daily Swing Trades presented by the CEO. And if you had to buy these products individually, you pay about $425 a month or more, not including what you pay to, to learn from a seven-figure earner. But with IML, with the base package comes that, that seven-figure mentorship and these basic products, and you're paying a one-time $195 plus tax, ends up being about $217, and $145 a month plus tax. That's the, the best value around. Each of these products individually, again, will cost you more than that, but because you're part of the collective and part of the, 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 the family, you get all the products together for a great low price and a great reoccurring monthly price. Now, there's two other products that we have. We have the swipe trades that I mentioned earlier and the web analyzer. These products are designed to give you an advantage or alert you of trading opportunities. Let me tell real quickly about the web analyzer. If I was your friend and I knew of an opportunity for you to earn some money today, would you want to know about it? Most people say absolutely. Well, the web analyzer works like your friend and it fires off anywhere from 30 to 80 signals per day. It, it makes a sound. Cha-ching. When you hear that, you stop and say, my friend has just alerted me that there's an opportunity to make money. That's what that product does. So it's a great value, especially for $15. You can add that to your and you pay about $250. Okay. Now, the next slide shows you how you can get it for free. And how, how many people like free 99? They all do, right? So this is how you get it for free. If you refer two people, now let me ask you now, do you know two people who need to change their current condition in life? All of us know two people. Do you know two people who are ambitious? People who have high moral uh, value and, and integrity. These are the type of people you want to align yourself with. If you'll share this opportunity, the company saying they're willing to honor you to waive your reoccurring fee. So by referring two people using your unique referral link, guess what? 
They're going to waive your fee and you got it for your initial initial payment. And every 30 days, what happens is that that's when your reoccurring payment is due. As long as you have two friends, two people that have joined using your link, you don't have to worry about a continuous recurring fee. No restrictions. Powerful, powerful opportunity. Now, most of us are degreed. A lot of us that, that I run into, we're, we're degreed individuals. And I promise you, our university never paid us a dime when we referred people. <laughs> so what I want to do now, and um, let me see. Dre, do I want to go to uh, Mr. Lawrence, or what do you want to do? Just, just give it back to me. I'm here. Hand it back to you. Yes. Please, everybody, give your undivided attention to our Chairman 10 leader, Mr. Andre Campbell. He's going to tell you what you need to do in order to earn additional revenue as an independent business owner. Mr. Campbell. Awesome, awesome. Hey, brother, definitely appreciate that presentation. Uh, as always, every time you do it, I'm taking notes, uh, especially that information you gave on the uh, copying and pasting, and that makes a lot of sense, you know, understanding the difference between the rich and the um, not so rich and the mindset on what people do. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, everything you just heard previously is what we call a person just signed up as a customer, utilizing the products, learning how to earn, and profit in the markets. That's all it is. You don't have to talk to anybody. You don't have to you know, recruit anybody. You don't have to do anything else but have the desire to learn and earn. What I'm gonna go over briefly right now is the second part, the additional part that the company offers, which is what I believe is one of the best profit sharing uh, opportunities in the industry. And after that, I'm gonna do something kind of special tonight. I'm gonna go into the charts. Uh, very quickly because I know some of you are far away from me and you don't always have the opportunity to see You know the way I look at the markets the way I trade and this is something I'm going to try to implement uh, more often You know on this call so some of you can begin to follow us on some of our longer term trades for our daily uh, Some of these trades last for days weeks some of them last for even months so as an IBO or an independent business owner ladies and gentlemen this is very simple all you're doing is making a decision, hey, after you become a customer, after you sponsor two people, then you say, you know what, I'm gonna sponsor my third person, I'm gonna upgrade for $16.71 and become an independent business owner. Here, basically, the company allows you to profit share with them. What do you mean by that, Andre? Very simply, the company does not pay for advertisement, billboards, TV, radio, or anything like that. What Chris Terry has done he is putting that profit back into the comp plan that says, hey, Andre, uh, Alan Holt, you know, Gregory White, everybody, you know, Philip Johnson, the motivators. If you guys go out and begin to share this, ladies and gentlemen, begin to share this IML, the services, the education with other people, the company is going to reward us for doing that. Everyone that you personally sponsor, there is a team builder one-time bonus. This bonus is paid out one time. So this basically means right now the company, as Mr. Holt said, is operating in over 100 countries. So if you sponsor anyone in over 100 countries, the company is going to pay you $35. This is paid out weekly every Friday. As you move through the ranks, you qualify for even more bonuses and overrides of $10 and $5. And these are also paid out weekly and they begin to add up very, very quickly. I also want you to understand there's no limits to the amount of people that you can personally sponsor. You know, we tell people, hey, sponsor three people. When you sponsor three, this is what opens up the compensation plan for you. Now, myself personally, I've actually lost track of how many people I've sponsored. It's over 30. But, you know, some people, uh, we never make the minimums our maximum. So really, it's up to you and how many people that you really want to help. When you sponsor three people, congratulations, you've hit the first rank in the company. This is called a Platinum 150. Here, the company is actually going to begin paying you now $150 a month, $37.50 per week. This is what I also want you to understand. When you upgrade to an IBO, you no longer qualify for the two for free. Now, someone may say, oh, Andre, well, why is that? Why? Because now you qualify for up to $500,000 paid out to you directly per month. The company begins paying you every Friday now in the compensation plan. Those of you who are taking notes, write this down. As a customer, you do not participate in the IBO compensation plan. You only receive the two for free. Once you upgrade, 
to an IBO, you now qualify to earn and profit share in the comp plan once you sponsor three people personally. That means three people sign up on your link. Now you can earn up to $500,000 per month. When your team of three grows to a team of 12, congratulations, you're a platinum 600. Here the company's gonna give you $600 a month, paid out 150 a week. For those of you who can see my screen, when that grows to a team of 30, once again, write this number down to number three. All you did was find three people in 100 countries that are looking to you know, change your lives, looking to learn, and now, once again, you open the comp plan, and all we're doing is helping those people do the same thing, duplicate the efforts. This begins to grow exponentially around the globe. You know, I told just one gentleman overseas, and he's personally been responsible for almost 1,000 people. So I want you to think about the power of leverage that you have with this portion of IML. Very, very powerful and life-changing. What you're looking at here, this is the compensation plan chart. And as you can clearly see here, ladies and gentlemen, this thing goes from $150 a month all the way to $500,000 a month. Now I know someone's looking at that and they're saying, wow, $500,000 a month. I can't even perhaps imagine that. I want you to understand uh, this isn't theory, this isn't practice. We already have three individuals in the company that in a short period of time that the company has been around have already hit the top of the compensation plan. This means these individuals qualify every Friday for $125,000. And that is truly life-changing income. I also want you to understand if you're listening to this and you say, you know what, Andre, I would love to earn in this comp plan as a platinum 2000. Here you're earning $500 a month as a platinum 5000. You can see right there, 1250 a week. Uh, once again, platinum 2500 $500 a week. This is paid out weekly. The first executive position is what's called a chairman 10. Here, the company begins giving you $10,000 every month. Here, you are now truly a six-figure earner. Uh, your life has been changed. Ladies and gentlemen, we have people coming out of school uh, with degrees, various degrees. I speak to them all the time, you know, and they're not even earning what a platinum 5000 is earning in IML, which is $60,000 U.S. per year. Life-changing income. You know, then when you go outside the U.S., that can really be really, truly uh, generational changing income, just an extra $60,000 per year. So I want you to understand this comp plan is one of the most dynamic, impressive, and lucrative I've seen in my time, in my experience with IML. Coming from someone who used to co-own my own network marketing company, this comp plan is built to reward those of us who take the time, effort, and energy to help the company here. Just more money, more money, more money. The company will pay out from $500 to $200,000 in rank bonuses. So this means that the more families you help, the more people you help, the more lives you change. Unlike when I was working on a nine to five job where I got the same salary, doesn't matter how many people I helped, how early I came in, or how late I stayed here, the company continues to reward you. Myself, I'm humbled and thankful to have hit the rank of uh, Chairman 10. Here, as you can see, the company gave me an extra $5,000 because myself and my team, many of the leaders, perhaps even the person who invited you to this call, to this webinar, was responsible in helping at least 500 people. And once again, these are incentives and bonuses that you have to look forward to. And we wanna help everyone on this webinar who desires to, to get to the chairman rank. Here, chairman infinity bonus is just more money. These ranks, the company rewards you beyond your rank and gives you a portion of the profits from everything in your organization in three different legs. This rank bonus alone is more than a lot of people are earning in a calendar year of work. I want you to think about that truly life-changing. As a team, as a company, we provide tremendous support. Uh, the company, every Sunday night, we have a seven-figure mentorship call. If you have not been on that call, you definitely want to get on there, plug into our Facebook groups. Uh, we have webinars going on all the time. No one has an excuse not to learn. No one has an excuse not to earn. The IML Academy is where the information is, where the knowledge is to begin your journey of success in trading. Once you get the knowledge of the academy, what you want to do, you want to jump on IML TV every day. I know this is the NBA playoffs is here, you know, and a lot of people are sitting in front of the screen and that's okay. 
but a lot of people are spending their time watching other millionaires become even wealthier while their bills, while they're behind, while they're in debt, while many of them are broke. It makes no sense at all. So we definitely encourage you to take a time for yourself, for your family, to really begin to do something for yourself outside of your job also. Now, what I'm gonna do here, um, I'm gonna pull up my screen. Everyone hang on here. Let me get this up. And um, those of you who have uh, pen and paper, definitely take down some notes. Everyone hang on, please. Now, as I said, um, some of you may or may not know that, um, you know, I definitely like to trade myself. And we do uh, trainings here in South Florida all the time. And in that, just to give a more value, you know, to really help people understand, you know, different ways of trading while they're going through the academy, while they're using the swipe trades, while they're on IML TV. Uh, for those of you who also do not know, swipe coins right now is free at this point. Take advantage of swipe coins. Uh, get in there, learn all about it and um, learn you know, what's going on. It's, it look, it's looking very powerful. Some of the signals have already come out and uh, people are hooping and hollering and we're seeing uh, amazing things happen with Swipecoin. Get in there once again, kick the tires on it you know, and uh, use it. You know, we have information here that people don't even use. It's, it's amazing. Can everyone see my charts? Give me a thumbs up. Anybody can see my charts? Can't see my charts? Okay. Yeah, we can see them, Andre. Okay, thank you, Connie. Awesome, awesome. Let me get rid of some of this other stuff on my screen here. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, what we're looking at here, this is a MetaTrader 4. I know some of you use um, TradeView. I'm old school, I like MT4, it's where I learned to trade on. And uh, I just like it myself. Uh, nothing's wrong with TradeView. You could use both of them, uh, one of them together. What you're looking at here is uh, three of the main currency pairs that I like to trade on my own. You know, in addition to the swipe trades and the scanner, especially the harmonic scanner, powerful tool. Those of you who are not using a harmonic scanner, I definitely encourage you to get in there, learn, watch the videos. We're gonna have some other people coming on and sharing some of their methods, uh, some of their strategies with the scanner. What I'm gonna show you very briefly tonight is just what I call naked trading. This is trading with just the market itself. This is how I trade. And this trading is great, especially for those of you who are working in one job, two jobs, because some of these trades you can stay in for once again, days, hours, uh, even weeks. I'm gonna begin with the Euro New Zealand dollar right here. And this is a D1 time frame, the daily time frame. I like to trade with Heikinachi candlesticks. For those of you who have MT4, the easy way to get into Heikinachi candlesticks, and the reason is I want you to look at some of these patterns. I'm going to go down to the four hour time frame. And I want you to look at this area right here. For those of you who are new, the blue bars which you see they're called japanese candlesticks haikonachi candlesticks in this case all that means is when it's blue we're buying we're going long we want the price to move into the market to go up when they're red we want it to go down that's all that means this white line right here is the market this is where price is and over to the far right you see a scale over here, numeric values, think about a ruler. You know, if your ruler has notches or a football field, you have one yard, 10 yards, 15 yards, that's all it is. This white line is gonna go up, forming blue candles. It's gonna go down, forming red candles, goes back and forth all the time. Once again, when it's going up, blue, we're looking to buy. When it's going down, red, we're looking to sell. Those of you who are new also, this is why you wanna complete the IML Academy. This is where all this information is you know, teaching you about the charts. Now, one of the reasons I like to use Heikinachi candlesticks, look at this area right here, and you see blue, here's a pullback, red. I'm gonna remove the Heikinachi candlesticks, and I'm gonna add the regular candlesticks, 
God, excuse me, I lost my mouse at a presentation <laughs> and now I got to use without the mouse, getting used to that again, clicking. And here were the regular candlesticks, which you notice is more red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. That's all it is. Heikonachis, they smooth out the noise of the movement on the candlesticks. Once again, I'm going to go back to my Heikonachi candlesticks. There it is. I like to see this. More blue, less red. And uh, what it does, this will keep me into moves, into trades longer. Now, what I want you to understand is this, right? Once again, I'm going to go back to the D1 time frame. Currency pairs, they go, let me get my cross here. They go up as you can see here, and they also come down. Is my mouse arrow showing up? Can you guys see that as I move it? Yes, Andre. Okay, great. And they go down. So what we learn how to do is to mark up our charts. These green lines represent support and resistance areas. Those of you who are taking notes, write this down. Resistance is like the ceiling. You know, pairs, they go up to the ceiling, in this case, let me show you an example. Right here, this currency pair, which is a Euro New Zealand dollar, it went up one ceiling. Well, it, one, two, three. Hit the ceiling, could not break. Then what did it do? It fell back down to the floor. When, when it's coming down, let me go back over here. I want, you, I want you to get this. Okay, right here is in real time is where price is for the Euro New Zealand's at 1.69 uh, something. Below the next green line is the floor of support. That means this white line is going to come down and it's going to hit this floor. When it hits this floor, it's got a decision to make. It's either going to bounce back up or it's continue through to the next floor. Price does not like to stay around these green lines. Now, these lines can be any color on your, on your chart. I chose green. I like to use a black background screen. This is what makes sense to my eyes, you know, my brain. It's easy visually for me to see this. You can choose whatever colors you want. Uh, white background does not matter. <clears throat> the main thing I want you to understand is to understand the movement of price, right? Because if, if and when you begin to understand that, that, hey, it came over here, hit the ceiling, it fell off to this floor support, broke through here, didn't go any lower, went back up to this ceiling, fell off again, went back up again, fell off again, went back up again. Once you begin to identify these, now you can stay in trades, look at this, for long periods of time. Once again, this is the daily time frame. This went up right here over 600 pips. What does that mean if you had $1? On this trade, I mean one US dollar, actually physical US dollar, that's $600. If you had five times that, six times, 600 times five, if you had $10 a pip, that's $6,000. And that would have happened in seven days just by learning how to ride these trends, how to ride these markets, how to ride these waves. And this is the one of the things I teach, you know, as I'm training on Forex. And you can see very quickly, it begins to come back down hit these marks. So let's look at this area right here. What this means is very simply on, gotta still try to move some of these things so you guys, guys can't see. Okay, right here, this was, this was 418, 2017, April 18, 2017. And this actually, once again, is a Euro New Zealand dollar and why you want to look at the daily time frame? The daily time frame gets above the noise. You know, you can see a bigger picture of the market, a bigger picture of these moves. These candlesticks on the daily time frame only change color after 24 hours. They're daily over here. For those of you who are new, the D1, that stands for the daily. The W1 stands for the weekly. Also, for those of you who are new, I want you to go to cmprofits.com. That's C like Charlie, M like money, the word profits with an S, plural. cmprofits.com. Click on system, then click on computer trading. In there, I have a video that is titled How to Enter and Exit Trades, where I'm actually going over MT4, showing you how to do the crosshairs, the horizontal lines, the vertical lines, different things, even Fibonacci on that, you know, uh, in that video so you can learn and catch up to speed on some of the things I'm showing you. But back to my example, right? So here on April, um, what was that? April 18th this year, you could have said, you know what? Price came up through this ceiling of resistance, went up, went up, went up, 
couldn't break, came back down. Now, how far did it go up? That move looks little, but starting from here, that was uh, about 300 something pips, right? It came back down. Once again, what did I say? Price does not like to hang around support and resistance areas, right? Here for about three days, it hung around. Then what happened? It broke out. It's either gonna break up or down. So what you'd have noticed, as you begin to see blue candles, blue candles, you buy, you place your stop loss, if you're coming in on the daily, right here below the floor of support, which is your barrier, you know? This is what's protecting you from getting stopped out. Why? Because price showed you it could not get any lower than this area right here. Price for the Euro New Zealand respected this area, and you can see the lines as you're doing that, you know, on your charts, and then it moved up from there. Where is the next logical target? You can see it, the next major support and resistance area. In this case, since price is going up, it's the ceiling of resistance. Ladies and gentlemen, all you gotta do is just stay in that trade. Heikinachi candlesticks would have been blue, blue, blue every day, and that's over 600 pips. Congratulations, uh, you made profit. What did it do? It tried to get above, fell back down, got back above a little bit. You're gonna learn about doji candles. Doji candles are these candles where the body of the candle is very thin, and on the outer side, the wicks are very long. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna show you right here, so you can see this clearly. Right here is a doji candle, right here. This red candle right here. This candle, I'm gonna blow this up, was my indication right here, this candle right here, that hey, you know what? This may be poss possibly the possibility, high possibility of a trend chain. What I'd have done, wait for the next day to see another blue candle, and here's a confirmation candle I'm in. Now, of course, you can jump in on a lower time frame, the four hour, the one hour, even the 15 minute. Let me go back to this area, and let's look. I'm gonna go down to the four hour time frame. Now, the broker I'm utilizing to do this is Oanda. This is a US-based broker. I like Oanda, they're a solid broker, and the times are in the, East Coast time. So whenever I'm back testing a strategy, whenever I'm going back to look, you know, see, you know, what's working, what's not working, I like to use a wine because it shows me right then the times are in East Coast time and I don't have to worry about calculating GMT time. Another trading I'm gonna do at another time is showing you how a market opens. You can catch so many trades, so many pips. So as you can see here, our example, this actually was almost, this is really right here, a uh, partial doji. This candlestick right here is an important candlestick, and I'm going to show you right here. This one right here is touching. You know why? This candlestick opened and closed above the green line, the floor of support. This is letting me know that the bulls are taking over and that this pair is beginning to move away from this floor of support. And then as you can see, let me make this smaller again, what happened? And this is a four hour time frame. Every four hours, a new candle form, and you continue to have higher highs. Here's a pullback, made another high, and higher lows. This four hour, it blast off, and then eventually went on up to where? That target. Let's look at the one hour time frame. Same trade. Now, as you can see, as we go down to the smaller time frames, there's a lot more noise in the market, right? This is where the harmonic scanner on the short-term trading can get you in and out of trades. This is where the web analyzer can get you in and out of trades. But here's the main thing I want you to understand. What was the overall trend? It was long on the daily time frame. So that means even if you get out and back in, trade with the overall dominant trend, how do you find the trend? By looking up at the daily time frame. Now, this is what I want you to also notice, right? Once again, right now, we're in the hour time frame. Look at this spike right here in this one hour. Let me do this right here. What do you think was happening this time? Right here. This was actually at 5 p.m. Eastern time in the evening. Could have been economic news, something happened. In one hour, this thing jumped up about, about 200 pips, you know? 40 pips a day, as we know, can make you wealthy trading the Forex market. So right there, for whatever reason, could be economic news. 
That's why I like to look at forexfactory.com. Uh, those of you who are new, that's forexfactory.com. You're going to see the high impact news alerts on that website. Um, while I have you guys here, let me see if I can get up forexfactory.com very quickly to show you how I utilize that site. Forexfactory.com. Here it is. <clears throat> now, the purpose of Forexfactory.com is to identify, you know, high news alerts uh, when they're coming out, economic news alerts. Now, this is what I do with this site. And you can also access this on your phone also. When I pull this up, I go over here to the right. Hopefully, everybody can see my mouse right here on filter. I left click. And all I want to see are the red, the high impact news alerts. I just leave the red checked. I leave everything else checked, all the currency pairs. Then I hit apply filter. What that's going to do, it's only going to show me the high impact news alerts for that day. For today, as a matter of fact, at 11 p.m. Eastern time, there is one on the New Zealand dollar. Here you can do it going to details. It'll tell you what this pair is about percentage that that business manager, blah, 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 blah. I don't even worry about what it says. I just want to know when it's going to happen. I don't predict if it's going to be strong, weak for that pair. I don't worry about that. I just want to know when it's going to happen. What time is it? It's 1049. So back to, can everyone see this Forex Factory? Give me a thumbs up or? Yes, Andre. Okay, great. So okay. once again, and matter of fact, let's look in here. I can go, what's up next for the... Let me do this. I got so many things on my screen from controlling the, um, okay. Right here, you could change also the day. Here is tomorrow, right, Tuesday. So this is the way you use this, right? This is telling me on Tuesday, May 8th at 3.15 a.m. in the morning, there's gonna be a high impact. The Fed chairman is gonna speak concerning the U.S. dollar. At 5.35, 5.30 a.m., the Aussie, again at 2 p.m. President Trump is going to speak. So what this tells you, you can get up at 3, 5, 3 a.m. in the morning at least, and this is also London, and begin looking at the U.S. pairs for a possible movement in the market. And you could do this for every day of the week and just look at different days to see what's coming. You can also, here's a view for the entire week. And all you want to look at are the high-impact news alerts. And a lot of people, this is called trading fundamentals. You know, this is news, interest rates reports, all those different things that cause these pairs to move. And you can see the different time frames. Very easy way to get in and to get pips. So now, once again, knowing that tonight in about um, 10 minutes, actually, right? Let me go back to Monday. 10 minutes at... Um, Wait a minute, what did I see? Wait a minute. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, I'm in April, that's why, okay. Let me, okay, here we are. I'm on the weekly, that's why I got messed up. Okay, we're on Monday, right here. And you see this little green arrow? This is letting me know what's next, right here. So at 11 p.m., in about nine minutes, there's gonna be news on the New Zealand dollar. So let's go back to that, and let's see in real time if this currency pair kicks up, makes some noise. Okay, so this is what I would do, right? I will go back to that pair, and I know there's gonna be news on the New Zealand dollar. This can also affect the pound New Zealand dollar. Look at this beautiful move here. This pair went up to this um, ceiling of resistance, came back down, hit one, hit two, hit three targets. And we called some of this um, last week in our training. But since news is coming up, we're looking for something to happen on the Euro New Zealand and quite possibly the pound New Zealand. Now, the pound New Zealand is telling us a story right here, right? This pair over the last one, two, three, four days has been stuck at this floor of support, cannot break through. None of these candlesticks can open and close below this green line on the daily time frame. So let's look at the four hour. Okay, what's the four hours starting to do? The four hours starting to try to actually possibly make a move up. Why? It's above this floor of su support. If I was going to get into anything right now, 
the daily is telling me, hey, I can't go any lower. Look for me quite possibly to do this. It may do this. It may go back up. But once again, there's a high impact news alerts. News can make the market do anything. Nobody knows, right? Let's look at the one hour. Okay. The one hour, look at this doji candle. Here was indecision between the bulls and the bears. Couldn't decide whether it wants to go up, wants to go down. This is what you can also do when news comes out, right? You can say, okay, you know what? This is looking like it's staying above this floor of support, right? We could buy right here, place our stop loss about down here somewhere below this last blue candle where it came down, where it spiked down. And we say, you know what? If we're wrong and it goes into a sell, we're only risking 30 pips. But if we're right, here's our first target, 70 pips. Here's our second target, 100 and about 70 pips up. So this is a way you can jump in before the news even comes out and says, you know what? I'm going for either target one or target two. Sometimes the news happens, it could just like, bam, go right up to either one. Uh, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Those of you who have been trading for a minute, you understand that. You could even go down to the 15 minute. What's the 15 minute saying? Okay, 15 minute, I'm seeing red candles. Here was that spike right here of indecision. What's the five minute doing? Okay, five minutes all over the place. But look, right now, once again, it's above that line of support. It's not, how, it's not a matter of being right or wrong. It's how much you lose when you're wrong and how much you earn when you're right. All you have to learn how to do is define your risk. Hey, what does that mean, Andre? Very simple. Let's say for some reason we're going to get into this trade for a buy. What that means, if I'm willing to risk from right here, the white line to this yellow line, 30 pips, I'm looking to pick up at least double that. If I'm risking 30, I'm looking to at least pick up 60 pips profit. I'm not doing one for one where I'm risking 30 to pick up 30 pips. So that means this white line, I wanted to go up to at least 60 pips or even more, two for one, three for one. That's how you stay ahead of the game, stay ahead of the curve. Right here, right? Look at this doji candle. This was your sign right here, right? Candles came below this green line, which prior was a floor of support, got down, pulled back up. Now this green line became a ceiling of resistance. Price cannot get above it. It spiked through just to trap all the buyers. Then what did it do? It went down to where? The next floor of support. You could have jumped in on that cell, let's say right here, and picked up a good 70 pips. Once again, this is looking at the one hour time frame. Let's go down to a smaller time frame. Would have been a great entry, 15 minute, five minute. And let's see what we would have saw right there. Ah, I had my, one second, let me get that. That was at um, 5 a.m. in the morning on May 3rd, 5 a.m. during the London session. So let's look at the 15 minute. What did we see? Bum, 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 bum. There it is on the 15 minute. Beautiful spike through. Notice this candlestick did not open and close above the green line of resistance. So you'd have never bought. You're looking for a sell. What was the five minute showing us? Easy getting your 40 pips or whatever pips you're trying to make a day. Here is a view on the five minute time frame. And as you can see, you could drop down to other time frames. This strategy works on any time frame, one minute, five minute. But once again, the bigger time frame gives you an overall view of the market. I don't want to miss this news alert. Okay, but here you have jumped in and drop down. Let's go back to real time and see if anything's going to happen on the New Zealand pair. What time is it? It's... um. Okay, we still got like about four minutes. All right. Okay, let me go back to that example. Boom, 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 boom. Drop down to the 15. Let me go down back down to the five. Now, once again, this is the 15 minute view, five minute view. It does not matter the time frame. These support and resistance lines work the same on every time frame. They're gonna be strong on the five. They're gonna be strong on the weekly. And I'm gonna show you that on the monthly. Once again, all you're doing, you're defining your risk. You say, you know what? This thing spiked here. I'm gonna put my stop loss right above this previous high right here. I'm gonna jump in on this candlestick right here. This candlestick open and close below. I'm jumping in for a sell. 
This would have been at um, 4.35 a.m. Eastern time, and I'm writing it down to right here. You got 60-something pips. This trade closed, hit this target at 5.55 a.m. Eastern time. So once again, you're in. That's it. Loving the session is done. Or you could have said, you know what? I'm going to stay in and look for it to go down to the next target, you know, which it eventually did. You know, it's really up to you. Let's go back to real time. Okay, nothing's bubbling yet. Let's also look at the, well, that's, this is the pound New Zealand. Let's look at the Euro New Zealand. I'm going on to the five minute time frame. Okay, 15 minutes, a little big. Okay, now look at the, um, this is what I want you to notice about the um, Euro New Zealand. The Euro New Zealand is kind of like out here in the middle of nowhere, right? I like to enter trades where? Close to the support and resistance areas. Why? Because my stop losses are very small. This is how I turn $500 into $10,000 in nine days. Past results are no guarantee of future performance. However, if I can do it, you can do it also. If you have the patience and you wait for these setups, this is like taking candy from a baby. So what would have happened? I'm gonna blow this back up. And once again, this is on the Euro New Zealand. This is on the one hour time frame. And this area right here, this was at 9 a.m. Eastern time on May 4th, the New York session. Once again, I'm showing you London session, New York, Asia session. You can just turn your computer on during these sessions and many times price or the currency pairs are beginning to make their moves because that's when all the market order flows are coming in. That's when the market is moving. So I would have jumped in right here and I'm looking, my target would have been here. The next support line in this case now, let's say hypothetically we were in this trade, we'd be up about maybe right now about 50 pips. If you're only going for 40 pips a day, you'd have made it. And we're looking for it to go down here, which is a total of over 160 pips. But now, once again, because news is about to happen, you're gonna be we're gonna be careful. See, this is where if you were in a trade, you'd have went back and looked at forexfactor.com and you'd have said, hey, you know what? There's a high impact news alert coming up for the New Zealand dollar. If I'm already in profit, let me either move my stop loss down, lock in my profit, or come out of the trade altogether, or re-enter the trade, whatever it is. So right now, this pair is in the middle. It's like in the deep water. It's not close to a ceiling of resistance or a floor of support. So I wouldn't buy or sell this pair right now because if you did, your stop loss would be far away. Way up here, that's like 90 pips up. <clears throat> Down here, it's 100 pips. Or if you wanted to sell, you could say, you know what, Andre? I'm gonna place my stop loss right here above this blue candle where it's spiked. You could do that, but that's not a high probability trade. Let me show you the high probability trades. Here's another one. Right here, easy, right here. High probability trade. This trade happened at... 2100 hours, that's 9 p.m. Eastern time. As you can see, trades happen all the time, right? This candlestick that the line is over, why this one? It opened and closed above the green line, not touching it. And it went on up, didn't go all the way up to the target. But you know what? If you're going for 40 pips, you could have picked up, it went over 100 pips. You'd have picked that up easily. Right here, 40 pips happening about over here somewhere. So once again, high probability trades. Here's another one right here. Spike on the line one time, couldn't break. Spike again, couldn't break. Began moving up to your target. This trade happened at, let's say we got in over here somewhere. This was at 2100 again, nine o'clock Eastern time. The same thing happening over and over again. High probability trades. Here it came down, spike back through. Even if you got stopped out, here's a doji. Couldn't break, couldn't break. Here's another doge, you jumped in again. This trade happened at... Hey, hey check out the uh, pound in New Zealand. Yeah, I'm gonna go there and I see that thing starting to move. 2,100 hours again, nine o'clock. Oh my goodness, we okay, just just up, bro. <laughs> better. Let's catch it, okay. I'm gonna go to all three pairs. Oh my goodness, here it is. This was at the... Um... Did you see that? No, I was... <laughs> I'm listening. 
but you're look. That's what news does. Economic news. So let's look at this, right? And I set a buy on the Plow New Zealand, right? But um, had we bought, once again, we'd have looked to put our stop loss right below. And the target is where? Let me go to the 15 minute and make this bigger. Here's one target. And the second target is right here. And let's see, once again, is the news going to drive this thing up? Once again, this is happening because of the news alert that just happened right here on um, forexfactory.com. I'm going to refresh this. When I refresh this, watch right here. It's going to show you. It's going to show you the results right here. Right here. What happened? The expected was 2.1. I hate when it's all this came back up because I refreshed. But um, let me move this on my screen so I can see. Okay. Okay. What was this news alert? The inflation expectations, right? Quarterly, right? Um, the previous month was 2.1%, and the actual was 2%. There was no forecast. So all they're saying is last month it was 2.1%. This month it was 2%. Once, I get, once again, go in here and read it. It'll tell you all what it is. I don't want to get into the mumbo jumbo. Back to the charts. Let's see if this thing had to move somewhere. It's not going to do anything. But once again, this is how you can incorporate fundamentals into your technical analysis. Trading on the charts alone, naked trading is called technicals. Once again, understanding support and resistance. Once again, as I said, I wouldn't have sold this pair because why? It was not below this floor of support. Now, let's say the news comes out and it drives it below. What I want to see, I want to see a candlestick that looks like this. I want to see something like this. In this case, on the pound New Zealand, I want to see this candle stick right here. This candlestick open and close below right here. Not this one, this one right next to it. This candlestick open and close below, not touching the green line, which this line was previously a floor of support. Now, because the candles fell below it, it became a ceiling of resistance and then look for a sell. So that's what I would want to see now to sell here. As long as it's above this line, I'm only looking to buy for it to go up. Um, and right now, the market is still trying to decide, are we, are we going to push this up? The bears and the bulls are fighting. Some people are selling. Some people are buying, right? That's why you see this movement right now. And eventually, someone's going to take control. It's either going to move up or move down. Because once again, for those of you who are taking copious notes, price does not like to hang around these major support and resistance areas. What is a pound yen doing? My favorite pair. Easy money. Look at this. Here, I sold at the yellow line at this ceiling of resistance, and I rode this puppy all the way down to the next floor of support. That's over 400 pips. Once again, I could teach a child to do this. This takes patience. You're looking at the daily time frame. Each day, every candlestick was red, 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 red. So why would I ever get out until I saw a blue candle? I wrote it down here when it was going up. You write it up. Once again, it's going to make a decision now. It just hit the floor of support. Price does not like to stay around the support and resistance areas for long. It's either going to break through and go down, or it's going to turn around like it did here and go right back up. And you can see here, it does the same thing over and over and over and over again. Magic. Look at this doji candle right here. This thing went up. This was September 2017. Uh, this thing right, this move here went up over a thousand pips right there you know and you can see these moves sometimes it's a little choppy like right here but it's the same moves once again you're looking to catch it at these ceilings and floors of support and resistance you know april here and once you catch these trends the trends are your friend you stay in these moves and you ride them till the wheels fall off till you see a change of color on the candlesticks or until price happens now how do you put on these Heikinachi candlesticks right here? I'm going to remove it. I'm going to put back on the regular candlesticks. Here you see the difference. A lot more red, blue, red, blue. With the Heikinachi candlesticks right here, all I saw was blue, 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 blue going up at the same time. What you want to do is go over here 
on MT4. You can also do this on Trade Viewer. Just look for the indicator list, uh, the Heikinachi candlesticks. I'm going to put my mouse over it so those of you can see the words. That's H E I K E N. That's one word, Heiken, and the other word is Ashi. A S A S H I. Heikinachi. Some people call them Heikinachi, Heikinachi, whatever it is. MT4, go here, look for this little green plus indicator list. Uh, click on that, click on custom. When you go in here, look for Heikinachi right there. That's them. And then you just left click, it'll come over. You could choose the color you want and you just drop them on there. Boom, in this case, they're white and red. It's the same thing. All you saw was long candles going up, 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 up. And they can keep you in trends and trades. Let's go back to the pound New Zealand. What's it doing? Okay, it's spiked up, making a decision, consolidating. This also shows you something, ladies and gentlemen, consolidating, going sideways. After every consolidation, you're gonna get a breakout, either up or down. After every breakout, you get consolidation. Be patient, just wait. What's the Euro New Zealand doing? Same thing, sleeping, not doing nothing. So that news alert didn't really do much. Maybe in the London session, this pair decides to take off and move and go somewhere. Once again, you understand support and resistance. What's the daily time frame doing? Let me clean this up for the Euro New Zealand. The daily time frame is overwhelmingly still short. Red, 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 red. The bulls have the power. So I would prefer to sell to see short moves going down on this. So what I would do, I would drop down to the 15 minute and look at this spike, right? See that spike? Price got rejected. It went up and could not break. So I'm looking for this thing to, to turn and go lower. And I may say, you know what? Let me see something. On the five minute, if it was London, I may sell and put my stop loss right above this candle. Now, you may say, well, Andre, it's not below this floor of support. And you're right. By the time it gets down there, that's going to be... That's going to be 100 pips. So I wouldn't wait for it to get down there. If London opened up, what I would do, and I saw red candles beginning to form, another red candle, then a lower candle, put your stop loss right above there. You'd only be risking about, only risking about, let's say a new candle forms here, about 30 pips to pick up 100 pips. Once again, it's all about defining your risk. It's not a matter of being right and wrong. Here comes a red candle right now. And this is the five minute time frame. So every five minutes, a new candle is gonna form. And once again, the reason I'm looking at that is because why? The momentum of the daily is down. Red, red, red. Right here was blue, blue, blue. Only amateurs sell in this. Only amateurs buy in this. Professionals, we only sell in this and we buy in this. So right now I'm looking to sell in this. Now, news could have caused this trend to turn around, but as we're seeing right now, nothing's really happening, you know? Um, nothing's really happening, so we'll just wait, sit on our fingers. If this candlesticks on this hour closes with the wick real long like this, that's a sign of potential rejection of the bulls, of the bullish move, and quite possibly a sell trade. Not gonna overcook your grits. Can't feed the baby steaks. Hopefully you guys got some uh, value out of this. Mark up your charts. How do you mark your charts up? Like this. Look at the weekly view. Same thing I showed you before, right? Look at the weekly view. Weekly, this pair is in consolidation. But look back here, when it was making moves, same thing, off of flo floor of support and ceilings of resistance. Big, look at this move. Happened in April 2015. What if we would have caught this move up here? How many pips was this? This was over 4,000 pips. The same thing. Price is the same thing on different time frames. Let's look at the monthly view. Same thing. Look at this move down here. Respects these floors and ceilings of support and resistance. This is how you mark up your charts. Very simple. I begin on the weekly time frame. I like the green lines, make them whatever color you want. I just say, hey, use, utilizing Heikinachi candlesticks, I go and look for areas where the candlesticks, they touched a lot. One, two, three, four times right here. And just begin marking these areas. 
There's no exact science to doing this. Right here, touch it one, two, three, four. Over here, you can see it's consolidation. I'm gonna put another one right here where price went up to, couldn't break. I'm not gonna put it on the tip of the candles. I want to hit at least two or three candles. I'm gonna just keep doing the same thing marking up my charts look at that touch here 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 it touched here 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 and you're going to see it's going to recognize these same areas when we go down to lower time frame and i'm going to do this one put another one right there i'm going to come down a little bit lower now when i click on these lines right if you look if you can see over here to the left of my screen you see a little white box when I double left click, the line is locked. It won't move. When I double left click again, I can move the line by holding my mouse down on the left click and I can move it up and down. I show you this also in the video, how to enter and exit trades on cmprofits.com, under system, under computer trading. All the information is there. Uh, don't sleep on it. I'm gonna lock this line in. Then I'm gonna do the same thing down here. Bum, bum, bum bring this down some so there I just marked up my weekly time frame now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go down to well I'm gonna put this one up here also this thing came up way up here I'm gonna go down to the daily time frame I'm gonna do the same thing mark some areas where I see price for whatever reason you know couldn't break through right there I'm gonna do one like about right here you know no exact science you know to doing this but as I go back you're gonna see these areas look at this become support and resistance areas and once again i did this off of the daily and the weekly time frame now i'm gonna go back and mark up look at this the same thing from the daily and the weekly why because what's happened in the past may happen again in the future this is how the banks trade they already knew when price got up here on 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 May 22nd, 2017, that in the past, this area was a ceiling of resistance. It's either gonna break through or going to a sell. So you have your charts marked up, you're watching the same thing. What did price do? This candlestick right here is your money candle, why? Because it opened and closed below the green line, not this one, the one next to it, the green line right here of resistance. Where did it go down to? your green line of support. Same thing happened over here. You're riding these things up, you're riding them down, you're just swinging with the flow of the market. Of course, you'd have dropped down to a lower time frame, one hour, 15 minute, five minute, whatever you wanna do. But as this was going down the daily, you're noticing red, 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 red. Here's a pullback, red, 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 red. All you're doing is selling in this case. Now, after you mark up your chart, what you want to do is go up here. Hope you can see this up here at the top right. This is the template list. You want to do this. You want to click on the template list, save template, and you want to name it, whatever you want to name it. In this case, it's a Euro New Zealand. That's why this one right here is named the Euro New Zealand. And then you hit save, and it's going to save this template. So now, when I go back to my template list and I hit Euro New Zealand, this template is already saved for this currency pair. I never have to pop my chart up again. And all I do, I leave my computer on these three pairs. I look at the daily time frame, and I had them marked up. Here's my pound New Zealand. And you can do this for any time frame. I just like to use these three. You don't have to, one, one currency pair can make you a ton of money. You don't need 10 or 20, 30 currency pairs. And I watch these currency pairs all the time. Now, once again, this is an addition to the swipe trades, the scanner, the web and line, all those other things, but I have these pair where I go in and I ride these pairs for longer times, you know, over periods of time. A lot of information, I did record this, so I'll try to get this recording out, but um, hopefully you guys got value out of this tonight. And um, let me do this. And we're going to do this call again next Monday night. Definitely invite out your friends, get people on here, and uh, we're just going to keep making things happen. And our goal is to help as many people as we can and just really help everyone get a good understanding of what we're doing and what's going on. So I want to thank everybody for coming out. Our special guests didn't make it to the call tonight. They had an issue 
Uh, next week, we're going to have someone special. And weekly, I'm going to try to have different people that come on so, you know, we can learn and we can earn at the same time. And everyone, once again, my name is Andre Campbell. I'm willing everyone to prosper in life and business. Everyone have a great night and a prosperous week. Good night, Andre. Good night. Good night. Great job, Andre. Thank you.